This is The Paul Report with Evan Yeager on sports, Kevin Bouquet and Isaiah Gardner on entertainment, Tony Confino as our field reporter, and lead anchor Amy Giannotti. Welcome to The Paul Report. Good morning, OGR. I'm Tristan Allen. And I'm Amy Giannotti. Here's your news for October 18th. O&J is celebrating our 8th annual Make a Difference campaign by collecting food, personal care items, and paper goods for the Coventry Food Pantry. You can bring items to donate to your advisory teachers up until next Friday, October 25th. The advisory that donates the most canned food items will receive breakfast paid for by Dr. Marchini himself. There's another part to our Make a Difference campaign this year. You can also show your support for Unite for Her by participating in the Breast Cancer Awareness Walkathon on Saturday the 26th. The Leo Club will be selling pink Unite for Her t-shirts in the high school lobby each morning before school. The shirts are $10 a piece. Speaking of t-shirts, we hope you have your team's shirt for the dodgeball game on November 1st. We have student government representatives in studio to tell you more about the event. Hi, my name is Conrad Sager and I'm the freshman class president. Hi, I'm Sydney Drumheller and I'm the freshman class secretary. My name is Owen Gift and I'm the freshman class vice president. We're here to talk to you about the upcoming dodgeball tournament organized by the Freshman Class Council. The tournament will take place on November 1st at 7 p.m. in the high school gym. Sign-up forms can be found in the library. You must sign up as part of a team. Teams must have 8 to 10 players. 8 players will be out on the court at all times and the two extra players can switch out with players on the court. The admission fee is $5 per player and each player must turn in their own individual permission slip. The team captain must collect the slips and turn in to Mrs. Christman at the library. Each team must have a school-appropriate team name and a team color. All players must be wearing the team color when they are playing in the tournament. Remember, all of this information can be found on the sign-up forms in the library. Sign up soon because space is limited. The deadline for the sign-up forms is Friday, October 25th. That's one week from today. We hope to see you there. Thanks, guys. You make the game sound fun even though dodgeball is not one of my favorite sports. Now golf I can appreciate. The golf team has done well this year. Sophomore golf team member Maddie Sager has even qualified for the PIAA State Golf Championships. Championships will be held at the Heritage Golf Club in York, PA on October 21st and 22nd. Maddie Sager isn't the only person in need of congratulations. To tell you more, here's entertainment anchor Kevin Bouquet at the Wildcat with a special guest. I'm Kevin Bouquet here with the Paul Report, and today we're with Sarah Maloney, your 2013 homecoming queen. So Sarah, what school activities do you participate in? I'm in the Leo Club, Wildcat Ambassadors, SAD, Tattoo, and the Best Buddies. Well, someone's involved. What does it mean to you to win homecoming this year? It's an honor, and I'm grateful that my peers voted for me. Well, there you go. And what special responsibilities do you have now that you're a homecoming queen? I have to participate in the 4th of July parade in Pottstown. Well, that's very patriotic. This is Sarah Maloney, your 2013 homecoming queen. Congratulations again. And I'm Kevin Bouquet for the Paul Report. Thanks, Kevin. For those of you who want to show off your creative side, it's Reflections time again. This year's theme is Believe, Dream, Inspire. Forms and instructions can be found on the PTSA website. Hurry up, ONJ. Projects are due on Monday. Tonight at 7 p.m., you can join the stage crew and watch Wreck-It Ralph in the high school courtyard. The movie is free to watch, and there will be delicious snacks on sale for only a dollar. Don't miss a great time with some great people tonight at 7. I'm Amy Giannotti. And I'm Tristan Allen. Tune in next week for more of your not-so-favorite tag team.